So the next challenge we have is to edit the shape on the right hand side. So again, I'm going to hold down the space bar to get the hand tool, click and drag to pan along so I can see that shape nice and clearly in the middle of my image window and let go of the space bar. Again, I'm going to hover over and left click on the object, but this time with the selection tool. And then you can switch to the direct selection tool. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is the bounding box disappears. That's the first big visual telltale sign that you've switched to the direct selection tool. Because the whole of the object was selected, every single anchor point is now active on that shape. So again, before you make any edits, do just go to one of the anchor points and left click on it to make that one active and that one only. Then go to the view menu and go to outline. So again, basic premises, find a home for your anchor points. So if I hover over this one here and left click, I can click and drag and move it into where it should be, which is around about in the corner in there. Go to the other one, click and drag on that one and move it into position. This one now is an anchor point that has curvature assigned to it. So if I left click, notice that both the handles appear and we ought to try and get that to be roughly halfway around the curve that's shown in the pencil sketch. So click and hold down the mouse and drag it to somewhere around about here. That feels like it's about halfway around that long pencil sketch in there. Don't worry about the curvature just yet. Then go to the opposite side, click on the anchor point and then click and drag and move it to again, roughly halfway along the long sweeping curve around there in the pencil sketch. There's one last one, left click on there and then click and drag where you believe that those two pencil sketch lines would meet if they were continuing in there and we could see them. My suggestion would be now to go back to the anchor points once you've found a, a, an appropriate place for them and edit the curvature. So if I left click on this anchor point, go to the handle at the top edge, click and hold on my left mouse button down and just drag that away from the anchor point and then to lengthen the curvature and then just spin that around a touch just to match the pencil sketch a little bit better and let go of the mouse. Again, with this one, this handle affects this region of the path. Click and hold down the mouse and drag and just, well, move it a little bit, but we probably won't need to do too much with this one. Go to the one on the right hand side, click on that anchor point to reveal the handles. Again, drag them around to match the direction the path flows in there and then lengthen as required. Go to the opposite side, click and hold down the mouse and drag just to fill that curve in around about this region here. So as long as it looks right around about the anchor point in there, that will be enough for now. And then with a the final anchor point, left click and again, click and drag and spin the handles round. Now we have an issue here because as we now know, handles assigned to one anchor point are linked. If I drag and change one, the other one will spin round. So ultimately we need to edit these separately. My suggestion for now would be get one of the sides of the anchor point looking correct first of all. So I'm going to go with the left hand side. I'm just going to spin this handle round. I'm going to shorten it a touch, go back to the other handle and shorten that one just to get it matching as close as possible. You leave the other anchor point where it is and the handle and edit that afterwards. And I'll show you that in the next video.